Hello everybody, welcome to another review. This time we are reviewing Forever Mine, which was released in 1999. Gave this movie a rating of 5. Sometimes there are movies that make it virtually impossible for me to suspend my disbelief, and Forever Mine is one of them. This would occur the first moment that Esquima, Alan Ripley, showed up at the doorstep, and Ella Bryce didn't recognize him. How could that be if she probably slept with two men in her life? Had Esquima turned his head sideways to show off his unscarred face, he would look exactly the same as he did in Miami about 15 years ago. Initially picking up Forever Mine, only for Ray Layota, he barely makes waves and is rather tame. Instead, it's all Joseph Fiennes, who obviously mimics Robert De Niro's mannerisms from The Godfather Part 2. Somewhere along the way, Gretchen Moll, whose character never ages for a minute in 15 years, makes her beauty known. Once upon a time, Vincent Laresca was Radami's in Juice. Everybody tries hard to make me believe that the setting takes place in the 70s or 80s, but it never works. The storyline is redundant, and the plot twist is impossible to swallow. All in all, come on, Paul Schrader, you can do better than this. Having written a well-regarded screenplays for American Gigolo and Raging Bull. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my movie review. We'll see you all next time for another review. Bye-bye.